start record and we're back all right how do you like that how do you like them apples welcome to ted tv ted arabian and scarlet savage here scarlet fire um we're on the new set of uh, uh the talking stick location shoot you know and i'm hoping that talking stick will love this because i've got great interviews coming up i'm talking to tim abel about getting him here he's anxious to do it uh, hey baby how are you Hi, doing Dave. now you look a lot better today that's a much better. <laughs> that, One of our black. friends, Dave, just came in from the parking lot. I think. You think? Oh, well, I think that's the parking lot door. Oh right? yeah, 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 yeah. The back door. <laughs> the back door. The back door. Um, but we have a lot of exciting stuff today. We've got a very special guest in just a few minutes, Larry Hankin, who we've discussed. He's he actually got his start on That Girl, which was a very groundbreaking. Um, to television show in the 60s, a lot of people said, well, you know, she still relied on her boyfriend to make all the important decisions, this and that. Well, you know what? It was the first show about a woman supporting herself. They had It was baby steps. They were lucky they got that far. And because of that show, Mary Tyler Moore came along later on because she was able to, you know, live by herself because it had already been, the ground had been broken. So, and she was able to take it even further. There was no regular in her life. Right. She was a single girl on her own. But that a Mary Tyler Moore show, would never have happened if it wasn't for um, that girl ever. Wow! In my opinion, that's cool. Yeah. You so know, I mean, he started got started on that show. I'm gonna leave the show to you for a minute. Okay. Is that okay? That I, that's great. Okay, I gotta go take care of real quick, baby. Okay. Um, it's nothing urgent. <laughs> Everything oh. urgent. Okay, so as I was saying, um, I'm gonna put value back. <laughs> value yeah. back. Value back. There we go. Yeah, you get value back at Ted TV. I think it was good because yeah. that's I kind of. There you go. I got talking stick slapsticks available. <laughs> All right. So, um, this this Maybe weekend right. is um was very exciting for me because last night I got to see the first episode in the new season of Stars is Torchwood, which as uh, everybody yeah. knows is a Doctor Who on. You. you can do whatever you want, girl. Uh, this is actually really good because I got the, yeah. the, the mic right. Okay. So um, everybody knows that Torchwood is a Doctor Who spinoff, and it's about the adventures of Captain Jack. I think he's going outside to smoke a cigarette. I want you viewers to tell him what you think about that. Bad day. Bad day. But of course, it follows the adventures of Captain Jack Harkness and his buddy um, Eve. Co no, no, Eve Miles, who plays Gwen Cooper. Um, Agent Gwen Cooper, and what has happened is uh, basically everybody else in the show has been killed in the first three seasons, which is very sad. I especially miss Yonto Jones, the perpetual coffee maker, the sort of butler of Torchwood. You wouldn't have thought that he would add so much flavor because he seemed to fade in the background a lot, but you know, it's a very different chemistry without him. He was Captain Jack's great love as we all know. And the thing that I loved about that relationship more than anything is because it transcended sexuality. It didn't necessarily matter that it was two guys. It could have been a guy and a girl or two girls. It was, it was just a passion between these two. And loved that. thought that was great. Um, broke a lot of barriers when it comes to what's uh, able to be seen on television. I think. I mean, in the past few years, we have made great strides in that area anyway. But so, Miracle Day. Torchwood starts off with um, it's been several months, I think six months since, um, or maybe even a year since Captain Jack and Gwen have had anything to do with each other. Uh, Gwen's got a baby now with Reese living on the outback of Wales, and um, they're just living their lives day to day. They get a phone call her dad's in the hospital, and when they get there, they find out that um, they're calling it Miracle Day because no one's dying. In a day uh, in the in the entire six and a half billion plus population no one has died well this is all very well and good but every single day in this world 300,000 people die and 500,000 people are born so without the deaths pretty quickly you can understand the problem you're going to run a room you're going to have resources um it's governments are going to topple um it, it's going to be pretty crazy pretty quickly so they have to figure out what's going on in addition to this, the immortal Captain Harkness, who has been alive for, I think, almost 170 years at this point, because he, everybody thinks it had something to do with the Torchwood Hub. It actually had to do with the fact that when he was on Doctor Who, Rose absorbed all the energy of the TARDIS and brought him back to life when he was dead, and now he's what's called a fixed point in space and time. He's a fact. He doesn't age. He's just there. So he's 
died a, a zillion times, but he doesn't stay dead. And um, so, however, now everybody else is, has that ability. Everybody else is staying alive. Everybody else is immortal. And Captain Jack looks down and notices he has a scratch on his arm. Normally, when he gets injured, it immediately mends. Not this time. So our immortal doctor, our immortal Captain Harkness, is suddenly mortal, and everybody else on the planet is immortal. And they have to figure out why. At the end of the episode, they're taken back to, um, they're actually, I want to say abducted, but that's not really the right word, although it kind of is. The CIA comes and he requisitions them, tells them they got to go back to the States, try to figure out what's going on. I will say, for Torchwood, not up to snuff. I remember watching the first episode of the last series, which was called um, Children of Earth. And I was on the edge of my seat by the end of the first four or five minutes. And this one, it was, I felt like a lot of unnecessary exposition. They were trying to introduce new characters, new American characters, which if they hadn't killed off Yanto, they wouldn't have had to have maybe quite so many characters. Um, Reese, however, is, um, I, they kind of gave him a gun for a change. They're letting him kind of be the bad guy instead of the guy who just stays at home and supports Gwen. Um, their baby's name is Ann Wynn. What do we think about that name? Ann Wynn. For a baby. That's just wrong. I see that somebody is somebody maybe talking to me over here. Oh, someone just said, uh, Konnichiwa. Hi. I just reviewed Torchwood Miracle Day, first episode as well. You did what? I just reviewed Torchwood Miracle Day, first episode, and I gotta say, I, I told the viewers this, for Torchwood, not quite up to snuff. Oh, really? Yes, really? Yes. Hang on, watch my butt. Okay. Um, I, I always I, do, but let's not tell him that. Yeah. Shh. Uh, my, my friend Kiki uh, up there in the uh, United Kingdom, somewhere. Is that her? No. Okay, who said Kanichiwa? I don't know who oh. that was. Uh oh, Kiyo six. Maybe that is key. Kanichiwa. Kanichiwa. I don't know. Wow. Hey, Kanichiwa. Kanichiwa. No. Uh. Well, Kieran. Uh. Kieran. Um. Gosh, I don't even know his last. Hensel. Hensel. Something like that. But Kiki. I just. Uh, I know him from DBX user. He. Um. He just gave a little Facebook report. Wasn't happy with the soundtrack. The sound, the music? No, of the movie, the Torchwood. Oh, of the, of the, yeah. Was, what was what was your disappointment? Oh, you already I, told him. Well, just Never mind. In, in a you nutshell, basically, um, the, the writing wasn't up to snuff. Oh, I didn't oh the writing. Okay. Yeah, I was on the edge of my seat for the first three, first three seasons, first episode. I was that eh. long, three seasons. Oh yeah, it was just you know and what? this one, it was like eh, a lot of exposition, a lot of explaining, oh. a lot of setting it up. I hate that. They yeah. do that for the that's a cliffhanger. That's the end of this? No, no, that's the very first one. Oh, and It's oh, sort of oh. like, oh. okay, I mean, why are you excited? Of, of, they were really good about doing instead of telling, and this one all they did was tell and not do. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. So, and I have, um, I've been reading a lot of Jodi Picot, who's also a friend of mine from New Hampshire. So we'll review some of her work later, but what can you say about her besides, she's brilliant. No oh, issue. The woman is a craftsman storyteller like no other. You should sign us out. Oh. Rock on. Peace out. <laughs> we'll be back in two.